like they need some new artwork for their walls. Now who doesn't want to spend a whole lot of money on new artwork, but also isn't very good at drawing, and also doesn't have good handwriting? If you're still with me, today I have five DIY wall art ideas that take basically zero artistic skill. Let's get started. First up, we're going to be making this painted gradient artwork. You're going to need one color of acrylic paint as well as a large paintbrush. You'll also need quite a bit of white paint. Begin by squeezing out some of your colored paint straight from the tube and use your paintbrush to paint a wide stripe right on the edge of the canvas. Now add some white paint to your extra colored paint and mix it all up and then add a second stripe right next to the first one. Continue adding white paint to lighten the color and then adding stripes until you've covered the entire canvas. Really try to keep your paint thick and textured since I think that's what gives this project a lot of dimension. And this project is really forgiving so if you put down a color that you don't really like you can just go over it again with a new color. Once you've covered the entire canvas let it dry overnight. And now you've got this simple gradient wall art to bring a little color to your room and it literally only took about 20 minutes to make. Now we're going to use all of that extra paint on our second canvas which is this fun hexagon design. Grab two sheets of cardstock and use the extra paint to make large swatches of color. Try to add some visual interest by not blending the colors too much and drag your paintbrush around in random shapes. Let those dry overnight. Now if you want to, you can cover your canvas with a background color. I painted mine with black spray paint. Now take a hexagon punch and your painted paper that you made before and start punching out hexagons. This does take a little muscle to get through the thick paint, but you can do it. However, if you don't have a hexagon punch, or if you don't want quite as much waste between each hexagon, you can just draw hexagon shapes on the back of your paper and then use scissors to cut them out. Once you have all of your hexagons cut out, arrange them on the canvas and glue them down. I'm applying a simple school glue with a paintbrush, but you could also use double-sided tape, a hot glue gun, glue dots, really anything you have on hand. If you're using a liquid glue, like I am, just cover the entire thing with something heavy while it dries so that none of the corners start peeling up. And that's it! Now we've got this really fun painted hexagon wall art. This project was actually inspired by one of Marianne's projects over on HGTV Handmade, so if you want to see a variation to make something similar, I'm going to link her video right down below. So keeping with the hexagon theme, next we're going to be making this string art hexagon canvas. To make this, print out a hexagon pattern from the computer and lay it down on the back of the canvas. Now use a screw punch to punch out every single corner of every hexagon. A screw punch is perfect for this because you can punch holes right in the center of the canvas. You don't have to come in from the side like a traditional hole punch. Once all of your holes are cut, remove the paper and then cut a length of string. Tie one end into a large knot and then just start feeding it through the holes so that you can outline all of your hexagons. Now, I'll be honest, the corners here look a little bit messy, so to hide those, I'm going to be using these gold studs, which just poke straight through the canvas and hide those messy corners. Finish it off by flipping over the canvas and using pliers to bend down the spikes on the back of those studs. Continue filling in all of the rest of the hexagons with string and adding studs to every corner, and now you've got yourself a piece of hexagon string art. I think this came out so cute and you could make it in any color or any shape that you want. Continuing with the black and gold theme, our next piece of wall art is so easy, literally anybody can make this. We're going to be making this piece of square abstract art. Begin by squeezing a few globs of black paint directly onto your canvas. Use a large paintbrush to paint a rough square and then let it dry completely. Then squeeze some white paint onto your canvas and use your paintbrush to paint a slightly smaller white square. Let that dry completely and then grab some gold gilding paint and a foam paintbrush. Cut down the foam so it can fit inside the pot of gilding paint and then paint a smaller gold square right in the center. Let that dry completely and then you've got a graphic modern piece of wall art 
that literally took no artistic talent to make. If you can draw a square, you can make this piece of art. And finally, we're going to be making this lace gradient artwork. To make this, you'll need a piece of lace big enough to cover your entire canvas. Position it how you want and then flip the entire thing over and use a few pieces of tape to hold it in place. And make sure that you're pulling the corners tight as well and you can secure those with more tape. Now I'm going to be using these pastel spray paints that I found at Target and I think the colors are just beautiful. Take your canvas outside and spray paint stripes of color right on top of the lace and make sure these kind of overlap and blend into each other. Let it dry to the touch, which should take about five or 10 minutes. Then take it back inside and remove all of the tape from the back. And now, the moment of truth, Peel off the lace, and there it is. There's our beautiful gradient lace pattern. Let it dry completely, and then you've got yourself a colorful piece of artwork that, again, took basically no artistic skill to make. So I hope you guys liked these easy wall art DIYs. I would love to know in a comment which one was your favorite or how you would customize them for yourself. Also, if you liked any of those funky drawer pulls on the front of the dresser in the beauty shots, I actually have a video up on HGTV Handmade right now where I'm showing you how to make them. So I'll link that video right down below if you want even more DIY projects from me. Make sure to press that like button and subscribe if you like what you see, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone!